I'm going to show you how to log into the online resources. Um, once you kind of go to the site using the login information, you should be able to save that login so that you can just easily click on it going forward. The website you're going to want to go to is https slash slash evolve dot as lever dot com. So that should bring you to a login site. You're going to click login in the upper right hand corner. Um, you should be able to log in or create your own account if you'd rather. If you scroll down a little bit, your textbook, if you bought one, should be able to go in here. Just enter in your access code and submit. But I do know that some students have trouble logging in. So I made a generic one that everybody should be able to use. If you click login, um, <clears throat> what you're going to want to do is use the username S students 1268. And I did put an announcement in Google Classroom that tells you what that is. Um, the password is going to be MedTerms, and you should be able to click Login. Oh. Let's see. S you know what? It's S Student. And again, if you click on there, save, it should register it as you always. Um, if you click on the textbook picture, you kind of come to this screen here. And it's a little confusing of where to go, um, but what you're going to want to do is click on the left-hand side. There's something called Student Resources. Click on that. Then you click on Open. One thing to note is in the pop-up field, you might get a pop-up blocker. You do want to allow pop-ups. So make sure that that's closed. You're going to hit open. <clears throat> you might have to click through a few yes, okay boxes, but it should bring you to something that looks like this. This is going to be your online resource for the textbook for all of the different chapters. And, you know, not all of the time is the textbook online resource is very good, but in this case, it really is. So on the left-hand side, you can go through whatever chapter you're working on. There's a little bit less resource for chapter one just because there's no words to memorize. But, for example, if I wanted to go to chapter two, there are games. There are animations to help you. You can take a little quick extra quizzes if you feel like that will help. Um, pronunciation is a big piece, so being able to pronunciate and spell words correctly. Um, just as an example, if I click on games, there's a few different ones for every chapter that you can do. So you can play Medical Millionaire, which is kind of like who wants to be a millionaire. I do feel that name that word part, as you can see, uh, it does have some funny music, which you can turn off if you click the little um, musical note. But if you begin the game, this one is really kind of a final review. Um, it does time you, as you can see at the bottom, but you get a word in the middle, and you have to ask yourself, okay, what means that? So in this case, I click on Megali, and you will learn all of these at a different point in time. Chromo means color, and it just helps you kind of go through what all of these mean. Um, and helps you become better at understanding these different words. At any point, you can pause or restart the game or just exit out of. Um, whenever you want to go back to the original screen, you just click on the left there, and you can go back to the original screen for any chapter. Uh, other things that are really helpful, flashcards. Sometimes you buy the book, it comes with physical flashcards you can use, but here's another spot where you can find some. So you can choose through drop-down which chapter you want to work on, or maybe if you're preparing for the final, you can click on all chapters and it will put them all together. Um, you can click on a certain part or type of word that you're looking for, or you can select all to kind of use all forms of words. You can either click on a specific letter, 
but usually again you would select all so that you're getting all letters and all word parts in this case for all chapters and you can see here there's 629 word parts that come in your flashcards if you got them but you can kind of flip card and go through different as a review um, I did also post Quizlets for every chapter, so if you feel like that's a better use for flashcards, then go for it. But I just wanted to give you a general idea of where all of these resources are and how to get to them.